Hello everyone, I am Chase of Rocky Mountain 8 VMC, giving you a closer look at the GPX 5.5 V19 helmet from Liat. Alright, so today we're giving you a closer look at the GPX 5.5 V19 helmet coming from Liat. Now we all know Liat for making very high quality protective gear and go back a few years in early 2016 they released the GPX 5.5 helmet and it was a very innovative feature rich helmet with a lot of cool technology. Now fast forward a couple years to now, well they have a new updated version. So the helmet is mostly the same, okay, all you know the big changes that they made to the helmet for this year are going to be with just really the styling of it. So with the visor and the chin bar they've changed those. We'll talk more about that here in just a bit but this helmet has a lot of cool features, a lot of great technology that is built in. That's what we're going to talk about today. So if you're not familiar with the 5.5, well you're about to be. But before we dive in and we talk about those features, let's talk about fitment real quick. So this helmet, comfortable helmet, very comfortable moisture wicking washable liner on the inside. Fits true to size, remember use a sizing guide on the product page, but in any case remember that a helmet is an apparel item which means we have our fit guarantee. So if you bought this helmet or any helmet that we sell at Rocky Mountain, if you are not happy with the sizing or fitment, we know that is crucial, we want to make sure that you are, send it back to us in brand new unused condition and we give free shipping both ways on that first exchange. So looking at it, let's talk about the similarities with the previous 5.5. So the full, the shape of the helmet is going to look very similar. Really the biggest updates are going to be with the visor, so they reshaped the visor. They also have redesigned the mouth guard and the mouthpiece area. And I'm actually a big fan, I like this new and improved version of it. The previous version I liked, comfortable helmet. My biggest beef with the previous version was with that mouth guard area and the chin bar. To me it just felt a little bit thin. In other words, when you put the helmet on it's kind of hard to explain, but it almost felt like the bottom of your chin was exposed a little bit. So now that they've increased the size of that, definitely just feels like I get more coverage there. So I'm a big fan of the updates that they have made. Give you a little 360 view here so you can see it. If you look at the back, you are going to be DOT and ECE approved. Multiple different shell sizes, that's to give a better fitment depending on your head size. And if you notice on the table, we've got two versions up here. We've got the 5.5, which is going to have a, a matrix, a composite matrix shell, excuse me. And you've also got the 6.5 which has a full carbon fiber shell. Now both these helmets, I have weighed them myself. That's really going to be the biggest difference between the two if you're trying to decide which one. So the 6.5 in a size medium comes in at 3 pounds 1 ounce and then the size medium in the composite matrix shell comes in at 3 pounds 3 ounces. So there's only a 2 ounce difference between the two. So it really just depends if you like the look of the carbon fiber shell, if you like the idea of having a little bit more, more rigid shell, then I'd say go with the carbon fiber, but both are going to be great options. So we've talked about construction and weight. Now when you look at the helmet, at first glance, a lot of riders see and they think, man, that helmet looks small. And that's actually a goal that Liat had in mind with this helmet. In fact, they say that this helmet is about 15% smaller than other helmets on the market. And they actually wanted that purposely. They say that this helmet being smaller, about 50% smaller than other helmets, actually helps reduce forces up to 20% over the competition. The reason that they say that is because with any helmet, any 10% reduction in weight has about a 10% reduction in forces to the rider's head and neck. So the smaller that you can make a helmet, the less materials that you're going to have to use and therefore again you're going to reduce the forces to the rider's head. So it's pretty cool and I'll explain how they were able to get that smaller shell size while still keeping a very high level of safety as well as we go through. So we'll look at the visor here real quick. Like I said, new updated styling when it comes to the visor. I'm actually a big fan of this style and look over the previous version. I think they did a good job. It is going to be an adjustable visor. You have two screws, one on each side. Also have a center screw here. These are shear away. So in the event of a crash, you do want the visor to actually break off to mitigate any rotational forces to the head or to the neck. So these are designed to shear away. So props to Liat for doing that. And let's talk about venting real quick. I know for a fact that this helmet has been very popular in the off-road market, so say Works, GNCC, Desert Racers, and here is why. Liat put a lot of emphasis when it comes to ventilation and also hydration with this helmet. But don't think it's just for that type of riding. If you're a motocross guy, this helmet's going to do awesome as well. But first thing I want to point out is you will notice here on the side of the chin bar, so a lot of riders for off-road riding, this is why I brought that up, they use a hydration system, they have a SIP tube that comes through, and most times what you have to do is actually modify the mouth guard on the helmet so you get that SIP tube to go through. So Liat actually just incorporated this channel right here. So you take your SIP tube, you route it through this channel, that way you don't have to modify your helmet. That's going to keep your SIP tube in place extremely well, and you don't have to take your hands off your handlebar or off your grip if you want to grab a drink. So if you like to run a hydration pouch, again, this is going to be a helmet that's going to be very compatible with that. The other big feature with venting, if you look at the top here, you can see what they have 
these honeycomb inserts. So you've got two up here at the top. You've got a couple more here on the back as well. Now total, you have 191 holes with these honeycomb inserts. So these are gonna allow a lot of hair both to come into the helmet, also allows a lot of hot air to escape. And when we actually show you the inside of this helmet, we remove the comfort liner, you will see that with their EPS liner in the inside, you've got direct cutouts going straight to these honeycomb inserts. So again, ventilation with this helmet, they did a very good job. And aside from those, you also do obviously have your mouth guard vents. You have some here along the chin bar, and you do have a couple more intakes up here underneath your visor as well. Now with those honeycomb inserts, a concern that a lot of riders have is will this be, you know, can something penetrate this if you were to hit it hard enough? You know, for this to pass the DOT standards, they also do the spike test which is a 6.6 .6 pound spike, it is very large. They drop it from about 10 feet, puts about 1,600 pounds of pressure or force when it hits the helmet. So these honeycomb inserts do pass that spike test. So if you are worried about that, take that doubt, throw it out the window, it's not something you need to be concerned with. Now, last thing I do wanna show you on the outside before you show you the inside, talk about some really cool features, is Leah obviously known for making high quality motorcycle neck braces. In fact, they are the first company to make a motorcycle specific neck brace. So what they've actually done with that shell shape in the back, you can see here, you've got a couple exhaust ports for venting, but you can see how the, the back of the helmet kind of rolls up. Well, that way, if you're wearing a neck brace with this helmet, you're gonna have a little bit more clearance. So you're just gonna have a better interface, a better platform there if you are wearing a neck brace. So. Again, for Liat or for neck brace users, this is gonna be a good compatible helmet for that. So that's the outside. Now let's talk about the inside. A lot going on here. So first feature I will point out, emergency cheek pad removal system. So in the event of a crash, if you wanna get the helmet off the rider's head safely, you don't wanna to have to put any additional forces. You actually just have these pull tabs right here on the inside. So if you just grab on those and actually just pull, get your finger inside the tab, this will just actually allow you just to remove those a little bit easier. So it does still take some force, so don't worry about those popping out, but that's just gonna make it a little bit easier to reach and grab that cheek pad and then remove it from the helmet. So I'll pull the other one out. So with those both out, remember, like I said earlier, very comfortable or comfortable liner on the inside, moisture wicking if you want to, pop it out, throw in the washer, clean it after it gets hot and sweaty, you'll be good to go. There's the rest of your comfort liner on the inside. Now I'm gonna pop this out. So with this out, Okay, there again, there's your comfort liner. Again, you can see you've got these cutouts or these channels that are built in that comfort liner to go straight to those honeycomb vents. So again, ventilation was key priority with this. So let me undo the chin strap real quick. So traditional D-loop chin strap, no surprises there. Get that undone. So with that chin strap out of the way, a couple big things I wanna talk about. First, let's talk about their V-foam liner. So looking at their EPS liner, you can see it has, got, it has a lot of channels cut into it, again, to help with airflow. And as I mentioned earlier, you can see you've got those big cutouts in there with those red pieces. Those are those honeycomb inserts that we mentioned earlier. So you're getting direct airflow through the EPS liner to those honeycomb inserts. But what is unique about this liner, they call it their V-foam liner. So a man named Don Morgan, he's an Australian physicist. He is actually who came up with this design. He's known very well in the motorcycle helmet industry with his liners. So what's unique about this V-foam liner is that it's actually in molded to the shell of the helmet. So when they build this helmet, they don't make the shell first and then press fit the EPS liner. Instead, it is in molded with the shell and that's actually how they're able to get that smaller shell size. And by having that smaller shell size with that V-foam liner, and what's unique about the V-foam liner is it actually disperses the energy to the side when impactor is introduced to it. And because it does that, they're able to make it thinner. And overall, again, that's how you get a smaller shell size with a thinner EPS liner, but still getting that very good energy management. So very cool design with their, or excuse me, with that V-foam liner. Next big feature we gotta talk about, those little blue things in there, those are called their 360 turbines. So this is, Leah, excuse me, is the only company that I know of that is using this technology. And there's 11 of these total inside the helmet. Okay, you can see they go to the EPS liner between that and the comfort liner. And what's unique about these is that they're made from a polymer and a polymer that is very impact absorbent. So it does a great job of absorbing dispersing energy. These are about four, four millimeters thick. And actually they say at Liat that four millimeters of this polymer can stop a 22 millimeter shell. So it is safe to say that this material does an incredible job of absorbing energy. But also what's great about these is not only do they absorb impact, but because they can move in 360 degrees of motion, they also help mitigate rotational forces. So we gotta remember that not all crashes are straight up and down. 
Most often you're going to be going forward or back or side to side, so you want to be able to slow down those rotational forces, and these are, go these are doing double duty. So you've got impact absorption, also reducing your rotational forces. And last thing I want to point out, if you look at the top of that liner there, you can see that this helmet does come ready for the eject helmet removal system. So that is sold separately. We have it available on our website. If you're not familiar with that, well, it's pretty simple. It's a little bag, or you call it even a balloon, that rests right up here between the EPS liner and the comfort liner. And then what happens is the event of a crash, you need to get the helmet off easily. The first responder can actually just pump up the airbag sitting there, and it will help just get the helmet off the rider's head much, much easier. So it's a really cool safety system. And there it is. That is the GPX 5.5 V19 helmet from Liat. Again, you've got the composite matrix right here. You've also got the 6.5 with the carbon shell. And quick little recap, because I know we talked about it a lot, but you've got a very good venting design. If you use a hydration system, again, you have that channel on the left side of the chin bar there. 360 turbines on the inside. Also, you're getting that V foam impact liner. If you guys have any other questions about this helmet, leave your comments below. Give us a call or chat live online. We'll help get those answered. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this helmet. If you own the previous 5.5, let us know what you like about it. And also, what do you like about the style updates? Do you like the new look of the visor or the mouth guard and the chin bar? That's just something I'd be curious to know. Other than that, to pick yours up, it's real simple. Just click on the link at the end of this video. Remember, orders over 75 bucks ship free. If you like this product spotlight, well, do not miss out on the ones we got coming down the pipe and get subscribed to our YouTube channel. I'm Chase. We'll see you on the trails.